He is one of people's sexiest men of 2021. No, it's not Al Jackson. And his co-star is one of America's most iconic bad guys. Earlier, we spoke with Daniel Day Kim and Tony Goldwyn. That's today's Chatting with the Stars. Daniel and Tony, welcome to DVL. Now, before we get into your new thriller, The Hot Zone Anthrax, Tony, I want to ask about your new movie, King Richard, because there's this buzz about it, especially Will Smith's role in that movie. What do you think about, like, award season? Are you picturing him with an Oscar, finally? Mm. Mm. Well, I have to say, he certainly deserves it. I mean, as does Anjanou Ellis, who plays uh, uh, his wife in the film, just gives it great. There's great performances all the way around. It's a really fantastic movie. And Daniel, congrats are in order for you because you were named one of People's Magazine's Sexiest Men of the Year. You made it this year, but you also had one in 2005, so that's a 16-year gap. So what unsexy behaviors kept you from the list until now? Clearly there are plenty if there was <laughs> that long a gap. Uh, I, I guess it's, uh, it's just an honor to be back on the list. Uh, I have to chart everything I did this year to make me sexy. <laughs> <laughs> turtleneck yeah then. it's just it's weird oh, when you're really good looking you can pull off the turtleneck yeah if you're not people be like you need to put something over you the look top like Ron you Burgundy. need a jacket or something yeah bro. you look terrible <laughs> okay yeah. tony we've got a lot of female viewers who are big fans of ghosts and you played the bad guy in that iconic film after that role how did fans react to you when they saw you i mean what they mean to you break it down oh yeah i would like not get served in restaurants people um yeah, it was it was it, it was kind of upsetting. You know, it was my first big thing, and yeah. and people, you know, would say, "God, I hate you." So, <laughs> you know, but it was a, a mixed blessing. I was certainly happy for the opportunity. So that just means you're a good actor. Now, Daniel, you were born in South Korea, and you've been very vocal about how representation matters. Obviously, Squid Game has become a global phenomenon. Is that show pointing Hollywood in the right direction? You know, it's not necessarily about one country uh, per se, it's really just about this idea that we can find great entertainment from all over the world. And and because there is great entertainment from all over the world, there are some great shows from, from Israel. Uh, there are so many fantastic shows from uh, Southeast Asia and, uh, and, and of course, you know, Western and Eastern Europe. You know, I think the world is becoming smaller when it comes to entertainment. Amen. All right, so let's talk about The Hot Zone, which is not my memoir. I know a lot of people are confused. It's your new series, <laughs> and it's based on true events. How bad is this? It's 100% lethal. So after learning so many details about the anthrax scare, are you more paranoid now about what could actually happen? Tony, I'm going to start with you. Uh, I'm, no, I'm not more paranoid. I guess I'm more uh, aware. Yeah. You know, we, we have been through, especially the last two years, things that phenomena that we never thought possible. Um, and in our generation, that really started with 9-11. You know, when that happened, the absolutely impossible became possible. And then three weeks after the 9-11 attacks, the anthrax letters were sent out. And I remember not opening my mail for a month yeah. and putting Cipro in our kids' school backpacks because we were terrified no one knew what that was. This just reminded me um, of, you know, a part of our history that I had that had faded from my memory yeah. a bit and told me things about this extraordinary investigation of a real crime that I, I actually did not know. Yeah, no, I, I remember exactly where I was and who I was with and what I was doing at the time of the attacks on the World Trade Center. And I do remember uh, weeks after just watching you know, like Peter Jennings and Tom Brokaw on the news talking about these these anthrax lace letters. And I just I just remember thinking to myself, like, now what? You know, yeah. we just had the largest attack on uh, American soil in our history. And then immediately following were, were were these anthrax attacks and you know I, I think that's one of the reasons why this story is so important to tell right now thank you so much gentlemen dbl nation catch the hot zone anthrax it's streaming now on national geographic it's been such a pleasure daniel and tony thank you so much for joining us today thanks guys we'll be right thank back. You. thanks guys we'll be right back